And here we are back again with uh, more Acolyte. So uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I posted, and there's a reason why. Because um, let me just tell you, I've been watching this thing, and I've been like making micro fixes here and there, getting it ready to a rough cut stage. And I think we finally got it. Now, today I wanted to kind of give you like an overall view update on on everything that that the that the re-edit is going to entail, especially some questions that I've gotten. Like, for example, what is this thing going to be? And it's going to be a movie. I'm re-editing the Acolyte right here into a long-ass movie. Well, not really long, to be honest with you. It's about two hours and 22 minutes. And I'm sure I'm going to be able to cut a little bit more than just, you know, this. So it might end up being around the two-hour mark, I hope. Uh, I don't want this to drag a lot. Uh, the other thing that a lot of people have been asking me is that if I'm going to keep uh, this kind of romance in the in, in the in the thing, and the thing is no, uh, the the romance aspect of this too is completely gone, and you can just throw it in the trash because it doesn't exist in <laughs> in my version anymore. It just doesn't. Uh, the other one that a lot of people have been asking is um, the green lady. Uh, where the fuck is the green lady? The the green lady is this so-called Jedi Master uh, right here. She she's so uh, this one the Nepo Master Jedi. So uh, a lot of people have been asking me if she's still going to be there or not. And as you can see, yeah, she's going to be there. But the thing is that I've kind of demoted her into more of a messenger. She has absolutely zero sort of like importance. She is, you can consider her even just like another Jedi and it makes zero difference. So uh yes uh that's that's how <laughs> this is how chopped up this thing looks right now uh obviously the the one thing that a lot of people will 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 say and 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 it's like the 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 thing that is just like i mean what do you want and is when they say oh well Soul should have been the main character, or like the having the twin sisters is kind of stupid, and yada yada yada. I get it, like I a hundred percent get it, but I didn't shoot these, you know. So my goal is to enhance these characters, make them good, make them likable. So if you don't really like them from the show and you want to stay with that perspective then yes by all means don't watch this thing because you've already made up your mind but this is going to give you the same characters but with a different motive with a different even personality at some point because i am changing soul's personality like a lot so um uh where's soul anyways the, the point is that I'm really trying to make all of these characters work and be good and be pretty much very respecting to what George Lucas intended in a way. This is the this is the other point that a lot of people have asked me and that, you know, I, I want to like tackle really well is that is there going to be like what what, what timeline does does this fall under like it's go, is it going to keep the continuity of the rest of all the Star Wars projects and the answer is technically yes and no because i consider this to be about 2000 years before the phantom menace so you have this thing uh, 2,000 years before The Phantom Menace. So technically, it's still within the George Lucas canon, but because it happened so long ago and there's no mention of Yoda or Darth Plagueis or anything, it can be its own self-contained thing, right, as they are um, extinguishing the, the Sith. So that's kind of the angle that I'm, that I'm taking, you know? So... You can consider this George Lucas canon if you want to. 
but since it's going to be self-contained and there's no mention to anything else, like I've went ahead and destroyed any mention of the sequels, the prequels, and the originals in this movie. So uh, you just, like, it's its own thing. I'm trying to make it a good thing on its own without having to rely on, like, you know, the franchise itself. So that's kind of the the short update on, on this thing. Yes, I'm still doing it. And yes, I'm going to take a minute because <laughs> this thing is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but... I do see a lot of potential with it. So anyways, I just wanted to give you that update and I will talk to you later. Bye.